All right, today we're taking a look at Rosemead, California. Uh, it's, it's a uh, city that's in the San Gabriel Valley. We are pretty much right in the middle of the 60 freeway and the 10 freeway, both of which run east and west. So we're gonna take a look at uh, a couple of the largest employers here in the area, and then also the most expensive listing available as of right now for a single family residence and the least expensive listing available for a single family residence as well. So right now we're driving south on Walnut Grove heading towards the 60 freeway. So we're on the intersection of Walnut Grove and Garvey. So the first place that we're gonna go to is the Panda Restaurant Group. Depending on where you live, you might be familiar with this California company. It's a pretty large restaurant chain. Um, it, you, you probably just know it as Panda Express. So uh, yeah, that's one of the largest employers here. They employ about 400 people here at this uh, corporate office, which is in Rosemead, California. So this area also used to be called Rose Meadow, but over time, the name was shortened to Rose Mead. Rose Mead's uh, about 30 minutes east of downtown Los Angeles. And then over on the left here is the Edison International Building. We'll be taking a look at that later on after Panda Restaurant Group, another large employer here in Rosemead. So we're just gonna continue on south on Walnut Grove. All right, now we're passing Walnut Grove and Rush. This is the closest intersection to the Panda Restaurant Group head office. All right, this first turn in is the Walmart Shopping Center. Uh, a lot of folks will come here if you're just doing some uh, you know, shopping for the house. They have uh, a bubble place in there, a few restaurants. And then here on the right, you can see Panda Restaurant Group. So we're gonna turn right in here. And again, this is the uh, one of the largest employers here in Rosemead. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and continue on. Again, this is the Panda Express corporate headquarters. Pretty nice looking building they out here. Uh, doesn't look like they have a, I don't believe this is a, a factory of any sort. This is just uh, the admin, admin uh, office building. So, yeah, Panda Express, pretty large. Uh, California company. So 
So what you're looking at right across the way is Whittier Narrows Golf Company or uh, Golf Course. And we're gonna head north again on Walnut Grove. So again, we're passing the Walmart right here on the left. And we're gonna go to the largest employer here in Rosemead. Again, we're here on the intersection of Rush and Walnut Grove. All right, so right here, actually on both sides of the street is Edison International. Uh, they have about 4,000 employees here. So this is one of the, or this is the largest employer here in Rosemead. And uh, Edison, they supply power through most of Southern California. So this is their main office here. Yeah, so this is just the uh, visitor parking lot area, but if you're going to be coming here to work or moving here to Rosemead to work, uh, you might end up working here at Edison International. Again, it's over here on Walnut Grove, one of the largest employers here in the LA area. 4,000 alone here in uh, Rosemead. So there's the main entrance. Again, that's Edison International. And we're gonna go ahead and continue on. And exiting back here onto Walnut Grove. Across the way there is more parking. Again, a pretty big parking lot because they have so many employees here. And here we are in Walnut Grove heading north towards the foothills again. All right, we're coming up on Garvey right now. Again, this is another uh, busy street here in Rosemead. It runs east-west. So we're on the intersection of Walnut Grove and Garvey. Uh, Garvey is gonna be where you go if you're looking for a lot of local restaurants. There's quite a few here on Garvey.
right, so here we are in Garvey. As you can see, there's uh, a lot of different shops and uh, service companies here on this street. There's a motel, supermarket, mechanic, a couple of boba places, rental cars, uh, just a lot of different uh, things, uh, everyday needs you might, might want to go shop for. We're here on Garvey. And now we're going to head to the least expensive single family residence listing available here in Rosemead. So this home, it's listed as a two bedroom, two bath. Just over 700 square feet. And it's listed for $439,000. So it's a two bedroom, two bath, $439,000. And this is the neighborhood. And it's over here on the left. See if I can get you a better view. So yeah, that's what $439,000, two bedroom, two bath, here in Rosemead. Uh, it's got quite a few uh, power lines behind it. But just the uh, entry level home here in Rosemead. So we're gonna go ahead and continue on and we'll take a look at the most expensive single family residence listing here in Rosemead. So this is a dead end here, so we're gonna drive straight down. You can see the neighborhood, see what it looks like, and then uh, head back out to the other side of town. This is the neighborhood. Now we're heading south again. I'm sorry, heading north towards the foothills. And we're just gonna head straight back out to Garvey. So if you take a look on the right side of your screen, again, this is the least expensive listing available here in Rosemead for a single family residence. Okay, and here we are back on Garvey, and we're gonna go ahead and take a left. And we're about five minutes away from the most expensive listing here in Rosemead. So here we are on Garvey and San Gabriel. We're gonna go ahead and take a left on San Gabriel, another busy street here in Rosemead. And we're gonna start heading south towards the 60 freeway.
All right, so we're here on San Gabriel Boulevard. Same thing, another business uh, business district, business street. There's uh, mechanics, grocery stores, motels, churches, uh, just anything you would normally find on a business a busy business street. Okay, so we're coming up on the neighborhood for the most expensive listing available here in Rosemead. Uh, this one actually comes up as South San Gabriel or Rosemead, depending on which map you're looking at. Uh, they're pretty close, right, right next to each other. So um, we'll go ahead and take a look at it anyhow. So this one's listed as five bedrooms, three baths, and uh, it sits on close to a half acre and it's listed for $1.299 million. So it's not really a nice looking house. Uh, however, the lot is pretty big and supposedly it has three different units on it currently. Uh, it's right next door to this large home right here. There's a few large homes on the street. And I believe that that would actually be the idea is to uh, what they're going for is you would Ideally, probably tear down the three different units and then build one of these large homes. So this is the lot. You can see it's a pretty big lot. Actually a very big lot, half acre, close to a half acre here in Rosemead. But the, uh, the, ho the homes, the structures that are on it right now look like they're older, probably original. You ideally wouldn't wouldn't be keeping those. You'd probably just uh, well, I don't know. I guess it depends on what your strategy is. But that's it. So that's Rosemead, California. Um, so we took a look at two of the largest employers here in Rosemead, along with the least expensive listing and most expensive single-family listing here in Rosemead. If you have any questions, uh, just leave me a comment below or uh, click the uh, description for more information. But uh, Rosemead, California, thanks a lot for watching. See you on the next video.